Hi everyone. I am back with a new video. Today we are going to create a setup file for our Windows Form application, which we are building Visual Studio 2019. Here I will I have a application picture viewer here. So this is a solution for that. So I am clicking that and it will open the project window. So I have already created one window for Windows Form like uh, which is a picture we wrap and I am going to create an installer for that application. Okay, so that's what I am going to do. First of all, I am clicking the picture we wrap solution. So it will open the project and uh, it will load all these all things which is related to that. Okay guys, now our project is ready, so it is loaded, all things are loaded now. Uh, this is my design and uh, this is my code over here. We have already discussed these things in the previous video, so I am not going to discuss uh, that thing. Today we are going to create that setup exe file for this project. Picture Weaver app is my application which is a Windows Form application. I have developed for being a picture. So after that this window will be or this project will be converted into a setup exe file. That's the thing we are going to do. Okay, first for that, first thing you have to do is we have to find the solution here. So this is a solution part here. So I am clicking on that solution uh, explorer, and after that I will right click it in, and I, I have to add something. So I will click on that add, and I will add that new project here. So we need one thing. Uh, we need an extension which is used to create that project into an extension a setup .exe. So uh, I need that extension for getting an extension or whether we are checking that extension is available uh, we will click that extensions over here and uh, click on that manage extensions then a dialog box will appear so we have to find that thing uh, this this one the Microsoft Visual Studio installer projects so it is not installed in my system that's why I can uh, create that uh, setup exe file directly so I have to download this first, first I have to download this and after that I can uh, able to create such a exe file for my project so I will click download and it will be something like a little uh, a small amount of data is needed because it's a small file so I will download it and uh, after that, uh, once it is downloaded, then we just close that window. So that Windows installer is available in our, what, in our system, okay. So it is now available. So. So it is uh, scheduled for install and uh, uh, it will install whenever this Visual Studio is closed. So we have to close the Visual Studio and it will automatically install that extension here that installer and uh, it will initialize and uh, all the process will be done and click on that modified install and uh, it will be processed within few minutes so only after complete shutdowning all the process which is related to the visual studio 2019 only after the uh, ending all the process then the installation will begin okay so it will be like that so you have to wait for some time because all these things will be done uh, within uh, 10 minutes so we have to wait for, for wait for that then installation process has started 
So it will install that uh, Visual Studio installer, Microsoft Visual Studio installer to our project. So it will be, it is an extension which we have used to uh, create the installers for the projects which we have developed or built in our Visual Studio application. So it is done. The modification has been completed. So I will close this window and I will restart my Visual Studio 2019 now. Then I will go for the picture viewer app solution. I will click on that and it will open the solution and the project of that picture viewer application. Visual Studio is ready. Now we are going to create that setup file. So I will right click in that uh, solution and I will add that project. Okay. So I will search for that setup here. So this is a option which is available. So I will click on that. It will create what it will create a Windows installer project to which files can be added. Okay. So that setup project is going to add and I will click on next. Then this is a setup file. So I will make it as setup. So the project name will be setup and I will create. So once it is done, then it will, the window will be like, like this. So I have to create some, uh, we have to import the project output to the folder which we have needed. So we will uh, go for the application folder and uh, we will add that uh, project output here. So by, uh, by clicking that add icon, uh, the project will be added so in the dialog box which it is listed over here we have to add a project output and then click ok so the project output will be uh, targeted to this folder and also it will be this, this will be the primary output for our picture we wrap and then we can create a shortcut to here so it will be uh, we will use that shortcut to our picture we wrap So we can set it to the user's desktop as well and also we can create another uh, shortcut to the progress program so shortcut to purchase viewer app so it will be to the program file so I am selecting it to the user's program menu so I think all, all is done then I, I have to put some icon here so i will go for the properties window and i can set that uh, this thing over here so i will set that icon file so in the code properties window i can i can include a lot of things over here so whichever it is needed and uh, I will add what, uh, the icon file to this. Add a file which is the icon one. Also, we can add that uh, icon file to this. So I will click that. I add uh, that icon file. So I have downloaded a file from the website. So I will add this thing. So it's a echo file. I have set it and I have added that thing. So to this I can set that icon file to I can browse it file from application folder. So I will add it add the file and I will set that picture weaver app uh, icon and also I have done it for the program file section. So 
Let's turn okay. Then also I can set if I can change this uh for the viewer apps uh, icon as well. So we can set that icon here. So we can select that icon over here and it will be like that and so it will be saved like this, okay. Then I will uh, rebuild this. So the web files will be built over here and the progress window will be displayed over here. And the build is complete now. So I'll go on thing and now the building is completed and uh, the, the status is available here. So the, the two files it is to succeeded. Whenever I right click this, whether I we have to verify the build is successful or not, we just right click on the setup button and it will uh, show that the install and install over here. So I will click install then the windows installer will be opened and uh, uh, this will be the wizard so we can uh, set that whole things here okay so this will be the default company name and uh, uh, this is the default company name so with the uh, we didn't one thing uh, we can configure that that thing here so this is over the name so i will make it as Tech Talks This is my channel name So I make it as like that and uh, also we can set all things here We can set the version names here we can uh, also input uh, URL needed if, or if so and the product code also and when you report the manufacturer the keywords and the order and all things can be done over here so the order remove program which will be I have added an icon for this okay so it will be also done then I will rebuild it okay then the status will be displayed over here and after that after building it will be uh, displayed in the output menu so the rebuild is succeeded and it, the two files are succeeded so I will go for install. So I click when I click install, that install window will be uh, pop up. Then I will click on next and then next. Uh, okay, one minute. I will do one thing. So here it is one succeeded and one update. Okay, so I will go for install. Then it is this place over here and I'll install that. This just me. Okay, so I will click on next and it will on. And it is done. So the installation is completed. Then whenever I am going to look that thing over here. So this is the shortcut for my picture viewer app. So whenever I double click on that app, then so this is the app, yes, it is displayed over here. So when show the picture, you can select that picture, it is like this, and uh, all things will be available and uh, the application is now working so this is done yes it is done so that thing, thing is done the other thing is working yes so that's all for today i hope you can understand all these things it's very easy to uh, develop such a, an application and we can convert that file into the next uh, exe file so it is very easy uh, you can find it uh, very easy okay that's it and the location will be uh, you can uh, find that location so so the open folder in the file explorer when we click in this file and we can find that this this will be the uh, application and uh, we will find that 
uh, set up file here. So this is a set up file over here, and we can this is a set up file that we can use to set up our application again. So this is a uh, complete tutorial. I think it will help you. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching my video. Subscribe my channel for future updates. Okay, thank you.